Tip four, saturate with water first. Breakthrough allows users to analyze multiple gas flows at a time. Water is a common impurity in a variety of processes and Breakthrough allows researchers to measure the impact of humidity on their process. Now let's imagine we want to measure CO2 adsorption in the presence of humidity. One way we could analyze this system is by flowing water and CO2 simultaneously. Most materials will absorb water much more strongly than CO2. As a result, the CO2 will break through first while water continues to absorb, displacing CO2 as it absorbs. Water adsorption can oftentimes take a long time due to the low relative concentration of water in the gas stream and the large quantity of water that many samples absorb. This makes it difficult to quantify the amount of CO2 adsorbed in the process as it will take some time to reach equilibrium. Additionally, you could cut off the measurement early and get false data in which you would overpredict CO2 adsorption. Next, let's see what happens if we saturate with water first. The water will completely adsorb as it is the only adsorbate in the gas stream. Next, CO2 is introduced while still flowing water. The majority of the water will remain bound to the adsorbent, however some water will be replaced by CO2 until an equilibrium state is reached. This equilibrium condition will be fulfilled much faster than if both gases were introduced at the same time. Let's look at some data. Shown here we have an example breakthrough curve where water is first introduced into the system. Then CO2 is introduced after saturation. The additional advantage of performing the measurement this way is that if there is a synergistic adsorption of water and CO2 by your adsorbent, then the water will be completely saturated on the surface before introduction of CO2.